movie. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. This story begins with the man who once had it all. This is a tale of a man with a fulfilling 9 to 5 employment. A man who's had brushes with greatness of all sizes and statures. A man who's regularly gone toe to ball against all obstacles in his way. All to come home every day to a devoted and loving wife. Yep, this is a man who had carved out his own slice of paradise and achieved what we all strive for. The American dream. But as it so happens, even in the best of times, that little slice of paradise can blow up in your face like a nuclear bomb. And, uh, speaking of dropping bombs... This is a tale of a man only known as the Postal Dude. Along with his stalwart companion, always at his side, Champ. These two have toughed it out together through the thickest and thin. And after nearly losing it all, they come to realize that all they really need in life is their health, happiness, and that white trash heap on wheels they fondly call home. If they had remembered to lock the door, that is. Crap. Damn it, champ. I thought you were guarding the car. Figures. But in these fortuitous times, even when it seems like Lady Liberty has turned her last trick, the land of opportunity could spread her legs wide open with an invitation to new and undiscovered prospects. A steady job, a welcoming home, a loving family, and a car in the driveway. That's the American dream we all strive for. But, as our heroes are soon to realize, sometimes that dream can turn itself into a nightmare. some money if I hope to get anything done in this town. I suppose I need a job, but I gotta find a way to advertise my much sought after employment qualities to the public first. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything around here that can help me promote myself. ideal utensil to communicate myself to the masses. 
the perfect canvas to proclaim my message. Perfect. With this baby, I'll be gainfully employed in no time. Wow, look at the size of that thing. Someone must be compensating for something. Would you like to take me back to your place and pay for my deluxe services? I got a dirty job for you right Rats. here. Rats, can't get discouraged yet though. This is only the beginning of my job search. Hey, need your gutters cleaned by any chance? If you were getting paid to be a dirty beggar, Damn, you'd no be luck there. rich. But I can feel gainful employment coming my way soon. Got any jobs for me? I'm not afraid to get down and dirty. If you want work, just... Now that's job hunting well done. I guess I'd better check out this job agency place. Hope the pay is good. Let's see... Ah, there it is. Go see that Mr. Below guy at the job agency. Get out of here, freeloader. Hey! Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No, no, please. Ah, a new client. Come in, come in. Make yourself comfortable. Maybe loosen your belt a little. What's it you need? Yeah, my wallet's feeling a little light right now. Wherever it might be at the moment. You got any jobs that pay well? You're talking to the one and only Joseph Blow, son. Finding work is my speciality. I've got all the right connections in this town to put you into the right positions where you'll be obediently performing your duties. Assuming you have the right talents, of course. <laughs> no, no more. Tell me, can you put your ankles behind your head? No. I see. Well then, I'll have to refer to my conventional occupations list. But don't worry. It's all good paying, classy stuff. All I ask is that I take my standard referral fee from your wages, naturally. Standard business practices, I assure you. Come here, let me show you what I got. The city's in need of another subsurface sanitation attendant. 
you'll get to see a whole nother side of our fine town. The job site's just down this manhole. We can discuss going down other holes later. An associate is calling for an extra wildlife reclamation expert to assist him. I can tell you're the animal lover type, being a big animal lover myself. Meet my associate here and show him you're a man who's intimately familiar with the little creatures of nature. The jail, I mean the local correctional institution, is looking for um, a reformatory chaperone. <laughs> Don't be too rough on their clientele, unless that's what you're into. The institution is located here. Give them a good show of your penal quality. Yeah, yeah, chase him down, boys. Taze him! Oh, yeah, baby, put to the head! Stomp harder! Whoa! Hello there, Mr. Warden. How are things in the old pokey? Ah, damn it! You better watch who you're stinking up on, punk, or else I'll lock you up with the rest of this monkey spunk. State your business. I was told you're looking to hire a new reformatory chaperone? So, another wannabe Flatfoot who thinks he can last a day in my prison. Only the most qualified and physically capable are worthy of gracing these fine halls. Now look, do you see that eye chart over there? Yeah. Good, you're hired. Now head into the next room, rookie, and I'll instruct you on the proper use of your equipment. I will train you to become a hardened and proficient corrections officer. In front of you is the training dummy you'll be using to familiarize yourself with your tools. Unfortunately, they won't let us use real prisoners anymore. Now check the open locker for your first piece of equipment, rookie. That is your standard issue taser baton. It'll be your best friend inside these walls. You'll be regularly acquainting it with the heads of the residents within, using it in its basic blunt instrument form on that dummy. This form of pacification is lethal, meaning enough hits will eventually make your target very not alive. Don't forget we're getting paid by the head, so don't have too much fun on watch. I said you need to switch the batons mode to equip the safety padding before you hit the dummy. I said you need to switch the batons mode to equip the safety padding before you hit the dummy. Switch the batons mode to equip the safety padding and hit the dummy. 
form of pacification is not lethal to your target. Just forget I ever even told you about it. Unless the inspector's around, of course. Now get that sissy shield off. Your taser baton is also capable of, uh, tasering. In this mode, the device is capable of delivering a hell of a lot of volts into whatever you stick the business end into. Switch the baton's mode to enable the taser and use it on that dummy. As you can see, this form of pacification is non-lethal. The longer you shock your target, the more effective the incapacitation. Now, enough of this pacifist crap. Check the next locker for your next piece of equipment. If you haven't figured it out by now, that is your standard issue pistol. Hopefully I don't need to explain to you that bullets are lethal when delivered at high velocity. Feel free to fire a few rounds in that dummy, if you must. It's not that difficult, rookie. Just go to the keypad and enter the code 111. Well, congratulations, rookie. You are now fit to walk the grounds of my prison. Now get going on your patrol. Damn things. Rookie, you hear me? I have a new assignment for you. I've forgotten my damn password, so I can't do a damn thing from here. I'm gonna need you to head to the central security hub to enter the reset code. Function no nuts. Move it to the central hub now. Now you need to enter the reset code. I've got it right here. The code is six, nine, and six. Enter that code into the keypad. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on a sec. This damn sheet is upside down. The right code is, ah, shit. You just activated the emergency prison release. Listen up, rookie. You're the last guard standing in there. I got a backup team on standby, but there's no way they're getting in with the place in full lockdown mode. You'll have to go to security stations in each of the cell blocks and manually input the override code. Each station has its own code. There should be one marked in that hub room you're in. Commit that to memory and head to the cell block first. My favorite skull.
It's not too bad. a few holes.
money. I got you covered. I saw him fall down on that bullet. That went your damn sponge. Hey, <laughs> that's not too bad. like a little pick-me-up. Piece of cake. Cell block secured. Lockdown lifted. Tell you these boys know how to crash a party? And don't worry, I remember to tell them you were in here too, rookie. Yeah, I'll bet. Now, how about the pay for my exemplary efforts? Don't worry about that either, rookie. Your recruiter got in touch, and I made sure to transfer all your day's wages to him. Oh, great. Trust me, you did a service worthy of every cent. Unfortunately, your decisive handling of the disorderly conduct around here has ensured such further efforts will not be required anytime soon in the foreseeable future. But cheer up, rookie. Play your cards right, and one day, you can find yourself a permanent residence in here. <laughs>